This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for everyone on Earth. Witnessing such a phenomenon in the sky will be a sight we'll get to experience only once in our lives, so don't miss out if you're a star lover. In just a few months, a star is going to explode in the sky right before our eyes, and you can witness it from anywhere without needing a telescope. No matter where you are in the world, you need to look for this pattern in the night sky. It's called Coroni Borealis. Right now, you can see a spot on the screen where nothing is visible yet. But according to NASA scientists, very soon this year, a massive explosion is going to happen there, which will be clearly visible to our naked eyes. This explosion will be visible continuously for about a week, and then it will disappear for the next 80 years, only to return in the future after 80 years again. And that's why I said that for everyone alive on Earth today, this will be their only chance to witness it. But how can a star that is so dim suddenly explode with such a bright flash? This process takes years, right? The last time something like this happened in the sky, it looked as if there were not one, but two Venuses in the sky. Do you remember? I said it will explode again after 80 years. So how does this star explode, then return, and explode again? Well, the answers to all these questions are quite intriguing, and to uncover them, we'll need to step back in time. In 1866, during the onset of this explosion, entries were being recorded in the personal diary of an ordinary railway worker. In the year 1866, there was a railway man named Alexei Kamenchuk, who, like me, used to observe the stars in the night sky regularly while returning home. His deep interest in astronomy enabled him to pinpoint the exact locations of stars and constellations. One night, while on his way home and observing the stars as usual, Alexei Kamenchuk noticed something peculiar in the sky. In the constellation known as Coronae Borealis, or the Northern Crown, a new star suddenly appeared. This star, which had not been there the previous day, was unusual in that it shone as brightly as our pole star for two to three days before vanishing once more. However, despite being an ordinary railway man, Alexei could have chosen to ignore this star, yet he did not. He asked himself a simple question, how long does it take for a star to form? Well, at least a million years, and after seven to ten billion years, that star dies. So what was different about this star that it formed in one day and exploded in two to three days? This thought began to consume Alexei, so he started searching for clues about the missing star with his telescope. He reasoned that if the star had exploded, it must have left some traces behind. With this thought in mind, he began searching for the star's remains in the night sky using his telescope. He then discovered that not only the remains but the entire star was still there. Though it wasn't visible to the naked eye, it could be seen with the help of his telescope. This made Alexei even more curious. From that day on, he began observing the star every night with his telescope, recording its brightness. He dedicated his entire life to studying the behavior of that one particular star. And then history repeated itself. In 1946, the star shone brightly once again, just as Alexei had recorded in 1866, just like before the star disappeared after two to three days. And now, cut to 2016. In the same place within the same constellation, similar patterns appeared once again. So, what happened in 2016? Well, when some astronomers were observing the Northern Hemisphere with their telescopes, they noticed a star in the same location behaving quite strangely. They observed that the star was showing a typical dim, bright, dim pattern. However, within a matter of four to five years, which is an extremely short span for a star's life cycle, its brightness was drastically decreasing. And fun fact, this star could only be seen through a telescope, so naturally they began to backtrace its history. That's when they discovered that a railway man named Alexei had already conducted a detailed study on this star from 1866 to 1946. The astronomers started analyzing Alexei's data, hoping it would provide some clues. It turned out that Alexei's data was invaluable, offering insights that were crucial to their research. 
they discovered that the events between 1846 and 1946 were identical to those occurring between 1946 and 2024. The strangest part is that in both cases, there was exactly an 80-year gap. So now the question arises, what did the astronomers interpret from Alexei's data? What secret information did they uncover that enabled them to make these predictions? So, what the astronomers did was create a brightness graph using the data Alexei had recorded between 1866 and 1946. They then compared this graph with their own recorded data. In this graph, you can clearly see that the data from 1866 to 1946 perfectly matches the data from 1946 to 2024. Then, suddenly in 1946, the star's brightness drastically increased. This means that in current times, we can expect a similar peak in 2024, just like in 1946. This means that the exact explosion Alexei witnessed years ago will also be experienced by our generation. In fact, scientists discovered that this explosion is not happening with a single star, but rather a binary system composed of two stars, known as T. Coronae Borealis, or TCRB for short. In this star system, one star is a white dwarf, which forms when a star like our Sun dies, and the other star is a red giant, which is essentially an old aging star. Do you know the most remarkable thing about this star system? The two stars orbit each other so closely that the distance between them is equivalent to the distance between the Sun and Mercury. Because of this, the white dwarf pulls the outer layer of the red giant towards itself with its gravity, forming an accretion disk around the white dwarf. The weight of this disk increases so much that the matter within it starts to press against each other. This continuous pressure eventually raises the temperature of the disk, leading to the initiation of nuclear fusion in the star's core. As soon as nuclear fusion starts, the white dwarf begins to emit energy outward. The energy released from this fusion causes the white dwarf to eject all its energy in a massive explosion. At this point, TKRB becomes five times brighter than before, making it visible from Earth without a telescope. Such phenomenon are incredibly interesting, and astronomers call them nova. In fact, this is why Alexei suddenly saw it without a telescope in 1866. So, we understand what's happening there now, but the question remains. When a star explodes, it should be the end of it, meaning it should disappear forever after 1866. However, that didn't happen. As we discussed, it reappeared in 1946 and is set to appear again in 2024. So, how does this star keep surviving and reappearing after exploding multiple times? So, friends, the explosion that occurs every 80 years is a type of nova explosion. The kind of explosions where a star completely destroys itself are called supernova. So, how are nova explosions different from supernova explosions, and how do stars survive after a nova explosion? So friends, a nova explosion occurs when a white dwarf star, which is small and dense, accumulates hydrogen from its companion star. When this hydrogen gathers on the surface of the white dwarf and fuses, it causes an explosion, which we call a nova explosion. And this explosion is weaker compared to a supernova, with its brightness lasting only a few days or weeks. And because of this nova explosion, TCRB, or T. Coronae Borealis, will be visible to us from Earth. As I mentioned earlier, this will be a unique opportunity for our generation to witness it. And there you have it, the fascinating story of T. Coronae Borealis and its incredible nova explosions. As we prepare to witness this rare astronomical event, let's remember the dedication of astronomers like Alexei, whose observations have made this possible. Make sure to mark your calendars and keep your eyes on the skies, because this is truly a once-in-a-lifetime experience. If you enjoyed this journey through the cosmos, don't forget to stay tuned to Astro Odyssey for more captivating space stories. Until next time, keep looking up.